Hey everyone, welcome back to Monster Tsunami. As you guys can hear, I got a new pair of headphones. And, I'm extremely tired. <laughs> Pretty much I spent a little while, uh, finishing up some pieces and coloring each one and rendering them out. Just for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy, uh, episode 2 of Mermaid. And, um, hopefully during this I wake up a little bit more to feel more energetic when I talk about my methods when I drew these monsters. And hopefully you guys enjoy, I already said that, um, pretty much you guys know how this is. It's mermaid. Every day I get a different theme and make a monster out of it. Or a mermaid out of it, but I'm adding my own twist to it. And let's just keep this short and let's just get right into it. Transition. Day 3, Spiny Lobster. Starting off this week with a really good one, in my opinion. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with this one. Well, I had a lot of fun with all of them, so... <laughs> but uh, for this one, I pretty much had something pretty cool in mind. I was just gonna draw the lobster body and then just draw the mermaid part. But I really wanted to make it, like, not believable, but, like, make it, like, you probably could see this in the ocean. So I added, like, texture to the, fe like, uh, the, the female part to make it more lobster-looking. And it gave it a weird-looking headpiece, and honestly, I like, that's my favorite part about it. <laughs> Day 4, Lancet Fish. Uh, for starters, uh, I drew one head at first and I didn't really like it, so I drew another head and then I really liked it. <laughs> uh, after I finished it, it kind of reminded me of one of those, uh, kind of reminded me of like a Little Mermaid villain. Actually, wait, never mind, it reminds me of the two eels that, uh, the main villain, I forgot, Ursula, is that her name? Yeah, the herd pet eels, that's what they look like. I don't know, I'm still tired. <laughs> but uh yeah, this one I would say it's one of my top ten favorites. Mostly because I really like the faces of the fish. And I try my best to make it more terrifying.
Day 5, Lion's Main Jelly. This one I had a lot of fun with. When I was making the others, uh, it took me a little while to like figure out the, like, the right look. But for this one, I already knew exactly what I wanted to do. And I think I, I pulled it off pretty nicely. And uh, my, uh, my family really likes this one too. And it was pretty fun to do. <laughs> But then again, uh, I prefer the inking over the coloring of this one. Mostly because I really don't like my coloring style. I'm still working on it. Day six, giant cuttlefish. So uh, when I was working on this one, I really, really, really want to try something different. So uh, I was working on a bunch of different sketches one night and I made this design and honestly, I'm very, very, very proud of it. I love the way its arms and its legs and its torso looks. Honestly, I love it so much, I might reuse it for uh, another character I've been working on. And, yeah, I don't know, I just, uh, how about this, leave a comment below if what do you guys think of it. I'm just really proud of it.
Day 7, Fringe Head. I, uh, I didn't know fringe heads existed, really. Uh, after watching a quick video of it, I actually really liked the idea of a monster like this. But I think during this day, I was really tired, and I couldn't really think of a really good idea, so... I kind of winged it, the winged design, and I wasn't really happy with it. Don't get me wrong, I did like uh, the, chest, uh, the chest part, I did like the, uh, the weird cape hair looking thing. But it wasn't that good in my eyes. But then I kind of sucked it up and uh, I, kind of, I finally went to color it. And I'm actually pretty happy with it now. So uh, I guess the story is, is uh, if you hate your art, try to color it. Maybe you'll like it. <laughs> Day 8, Elephant Seal. <laughs> now for this one, uh, honestly I just w went with the flow. <laughs> I wanted to make something monstrous, but also mermaid-ish, so I went for more of an abomination look. And during this, uh, actually during this video, I was also live streaming it on my TikTok. If you guys want to, uh, my TikTok is the same name as my YouTube channel. And uh, I had a lot of fun doing that, so I might start doing that more often. I'm still figuring out the, my schedules and stuff. But, uh, but for this creature, uh, I would say it's one of my most favorite terrifying ones. Uh, I had so much fun with the face and uh, designing the really weird deformed humanoid on the top of it. Kind of added the cherry on top of the cake, in a way. Or the cherry on top of the weird abomination thing.
day nine, blue glaucus. I think I'm saying that right, I don't know. <laughs> and now for our final uh, monster for this week's video. Now, uh, I really enjoyed this one too. And you know, I should have done a live stream making this one too. This was pretty fun. But uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching this. Uh, enjoy this last drawing. I know I did. And uh, see you guys next week with uh, week three of Mermaid. Until this well month is over. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go to bed now. Um, hope you guys stay safe out there. Bye!